legs and his torso and his head. He was under the water. The shock of how cold the water was too much. Brian shot up as fast as he fell down and pulled to the shore and into the shelter. He had no, he had no warmth, no clothes, no anything. Brian tried to remember in class how to treat this. He forgot what it was called, but he knew it was very dangerous. He remembered that he had to strip from his wet clothes and put new ones on, but he didn't have any. And he thought of the sleeping bag. Brian quickly stripped off his clothes and put the sleeping bag, trying to get warm. It would grow, but, was, but Brian was still freezing to the bone. I can't fall asleep, he thought. I can't fall asleep. Brian was so tired that he couldn't even keep his eyelids open. Brian fell asleep. He woke up. Brian woke up to the sound of a helicopter. He couldn't see. He heard footsteps getting closer and closer. He felt someone feel his chest and he heard. And then he heard. He's still alive. Brian began to open his eyes and saw a tall man with a dark blue coat and white with a white circle with a red plus inside of it. Right below it said the letters that said CM, CMH, Canadian Medical Hospital. The man said, what is your name, son? My name is Brian Robertson. Who are you? 